back to engineering nature this is mehul your guide for hans is fluent uh today i am uh, actually start a new series for uh, the fluent which might be helpful for the beginners so uh, as we know that uh, in the cfd to solve any problem we need to start with the creation of geometry then uh, we have to create a mesh that is discretization process then we have to apply the boundary condition and after boundary condition we have to make the solver settings so generally uh, the fluent which uh, we use uh, as a solver so you have to double click on the solver setup and start on the fluent launcher which will allow you uh, to make the setting in the fluent uh you can start with a general setup where once you double click on the general setup we have certain uh options is available with us where you can check the scale you can um, check the mesh or you can actually display your uh, geometry let me show you which geometry i am using to explain this uh, tutorial it's a simple geometry with uh, Uh, inlet as well as outlet, and of course, it's a it's a fluid domain, so having a wall. So once I select inlet, outlet, and wall, and just click on the display, it will show you only that part which I had selected. Now in the console, you can actually having certain options through which you can play with this geometry. Like uh, you can drag this geometry here and there. uh you can actually uh, rotate that geometry uh, at the same time uh, uh, if you wish to zoom in or zoom out that geometry you double click on that and then you simply use the mouse uh, the scrolling uh, button of the mouse uh, so this is uh, as simple as it is so uh, you can actually uh, uh, see uh, the detail part of uh, uh, the geometry which we had imported through some external Uh, might be external CAD software or some internal uh, space claim or design modeler. So uh, this is all about uh, the display. You can actually select or deselect uh, the part. Let's uh, let let me show you the inlet as well as outlet here. Once you select, these are the center plane. So various uh, entity I just uh, created in uh, space claim and then I uh, show you here. So uh, after display, you can actually. Uh, Uh, check the scale uh, in which you wish to appear your dimensions like uh, see uh, you can actually like uh, in for my case i want to uh, see my dimensions in millimeter scale so once you select it uh, you will have uh, the maximum x y and z directional uh, the magnitude or data for your geometry you can actually uh, reduce or increase your uh, geometry by scaling factor by using millimeter uh, you can actually scale down your geometry or uh, by using meter you can scale up geometry uh, once you uh, verify that you can uh, you should uh, actually check your mesh your mesh check must be done if you are using external mesh uh, creation software then this is very essential tool you can also check uh, the mesh quality uh, uh, which uh, we had imported uh, which uh, shows the orthogonal quality as well as aspect ratio uh, you can also in the info you can also check the mesh size or number of mesh elements uh, i will put a separate video for this uh, terminology aspect ratio as well as mesh quality now you can actually uh, see or verify the unit which uh, uh, the fluent will use or you can also change that unit like uh, there are several quantities available and you can actually change or keep the default unit there are two major solvers available for fluent that is pressure based as well as density based and there is two major type of problem that is study and unstudy problem so uh, uh, based on your requirement you have to start with this if your problem involves some vertical flow then yes gravity is significant then you have to ensure the gravity force or enable the gravity force now once general setup has been done you can start uh, or you can actually go to the physics and set the various uh, model 
uh, solvers where you know, let, let's start with multiphase if multiphase uh, offered you when you are dealing with uh, more than one phase then you have to go with multiphase if you are dealing with single phase let's say water uh, water through pipe or simple flow through pump then there is no need to activate any multiphase model but if you have um, multiphase involved in your problem there are homogeneous and non homogeneous model is available homogeneous is single equation model where only source term is uh, is available in, in in case of inhomogeneous we have a multi uh, two equations model so it's a little expensive in terms of it uh, time and uh, computer computational uh, in case of homogeneous model once you activate any of homogeneous model let's say mixture model the this tab will appear uh, faces where you have to uh, define your primary as well as secondary phase let's say if it is a liquid is entered and somewhere uh, you have encountered encounter the uh, vapor so that primary and liquid uh, secondary phase you should uh, you have to define between primary and secondary phase uh, what interaction you are having or what forces you want to consider let's say if in your problem surface tension is uh, dominating then uh, you have to uh, um, uh, define the surface tension coefficient if that that is not the case then you can actually disable that surface tension options now uh, uh, during the phase interaction uh, yes for multiphase what are the mechanism for multiphase normally what are the heat due to heat transfer or due to mass transfer liquid will change into vapor so that that mechanism you have to activate at, at the same time you have to tell them what kind of mechanism it is is it cavitational flow is it evaporation or condensation during your problem so that you can actually uh, set uh, via this uh, mechanism options let's say in the cavitations they show two existing uh, options model that that is the ss model and zgb i already posted a detailed uh, video tutorial for the cavitational flow where uh, volume of fluid as well as mixture model both ha i ha i had used and explained in the tutorial if your problem involved uh, any uh, temperature if you want to calculate the temperature then of course you have to uh, activate this energy equation yeah, like uh, is it a heat transfer problem or radiation or somewhere uh, evaporation condensation or combustions uh, anyway uh, you have to activate that now we end this session um, and then in the next video i will start with the radiation and all other model so stay tuned with uh, this engineering nature thank you very much for your support and cooperation thanks